Does your Ford F-150 sit like a cheese wedge or a rubber door stop? Today we're going to show you how to fix that for free. So, this isn't revolutionary, this isn't new. Billions of people have done this. I just want to show you how to do it the easiest and fastest way. You don't even need jack stands. You don't even need to take a wheel off. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this factory OEM block out of the stack. I can't remember if this is an inch or like an inch and an eighth, but regardless, we're going to take that out. So we got to take the U-bolts loose, get them off, get them out of the way, and then we're just going to simply use a floor jack underneath the leaf spring to jack the corner of the truck up just enough to slip the block out of there. Then we put her back down, jam it back together, and you do one side at a time. No muss, no fuss. Don't need jack stands, you don't need a lift, you don't need axle stands, you don't need any of that stuff. So you'll need a 21 millimeter socket in order to get the uh, nuts off the U-bolts. Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to drive it in from the other side. So basically what we wanna do is get this block as close to the spring as possible. Right there. Okay, let's leave it right like that for now. That should give us plenty of room. And what makes this somewhat reasonably safe to do is the opposite side is still attached and torqued. So the truck can't fall down or go anywhere really. You don't have to have the fancy power tools to do this job if you don't have them. Little bit of a disclaimer. General consensus is U bolts are a one time use. So that's up to you if you want to replace them with a fresh set or not. I am going to reuse these, especially since the nuts are going to be in a new section of threads, but that's not really the issue. The issue is just the literal tension. Okay, let's go ahead and jack up a little bit, bud. Okay, we got separation. Come up a little bit more. Okay, hold on. Be careful sticking your fingers in there, people. Okay, you can kind of see how this just keys in there. It's got these pins. Okay, let's go ahead and really slowly come back down. And we may have to get a pry bar to manipulate this leaf spring back into the perch on the axle. Yep, keep coming. Okay, hold on. Let me go get a persuader. Grab the uh, orange plastic hammer too. There she goes. All I had to do was kick the tire. Okay, you can let it down, bub. Yep. Perfect. All right, FedEx guy stopped by. So we're going back together. Literally just take your U-bolts, slip, slip them back over where they were. There's a uh, plate on top of the leaf spring that these cross over. You wanna make sure that it's dropped down in the grooves that they belong in. As you can see, this was really easy. 
I think a guy could do this in 10 minutes. A person, excuse me. Can't say guy anymore. When you're torquing these back up, you want them to make contact with this U-bolt plate evenly. There should be the same amount of thread sticking out of every nut. What I want you to do is just eyeball this U-bolt plate and see if you can tell if it's fairly level to the to the spring pack. Yeah, That actually looks pretty good. Okay, it took a minute, but I tried to get these as close as I could within reason. You don't need to be out here with a tape measure or anything like that, but you do want them to be very close. Okay, before we drive this down the road, we will hit these with an actual torque wrench. The torque spec is, uh, what was it, like 79 to 97 foot-pounds, so we'll probably go right in the middle at 80. All right, we'll get the other side done, and then we can uh, see what it looks like. So the sun is kind of in a less than ideal position for viewing, especially a black truck, but hopefully you can tell the difference. I did measure the factory spacers and they are an inch and a quarter. So that's how much we've come down in the back. It still has a little bit of a rake to it, which is what we want. I don't want it completely level. We do tow with this truck quite a bit, so it needs to have a little bit of room left back there. But anyways, the premise of this video is just to show you how easily this can be done and it doesn't take a lot of fancy tools uh, to get it done. And it can be done safely on the ground. So we're ready to move on to the, our next automotive project and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully we'll see you on the next one.